Sikhi Yamata Bayom Wawa. What is going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here today. I'm doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Vapefly. Yeah, brought this up in the live show. The company from China that makes the metal tube atomizer jammy. Vapefly actually got together with a gentleman named Matt Humphrey and he and them are making this RTA. This is something that I brought up when we're taking a company that's unknown. It's a small, small company. They're getting together with someone else that has a design and then they're making an RTA that's different than everything that we're used to seeing already on the market. I don't know about you, man, but that's a strong win. So what I have is a sample. The box is gonna be irrelevant. What you're gonna get in your box is gonna look a whole lot different than what I got. However, the design of the device is supposed to be sound where it is right now. There was something I wanted to mention, German 103 team. I think I said Michael Hackendorfer. Uh, I meant to say Martin. So I apologize to you, Michael. I mean, Martin, it doesn't matter. A lot of times companies will send you a little piece of paper with their device to tell you about it so you can kind of have a little bit of knowledge as you're spitting that out to consumers so they can kind of pick up what you're putting down. But I don't like reading from those. You know why I don't like reading from those? Because I don't want to be that guy that reads off of a box to tell you how I feel about a product. I just want to go for it. Whatever I get, I get. There is some knowledge that needs to be put out there in regards to the device because a lot of people don't remember Vapefly when they did the wormhole RDA. If you haven't seen that review, I'll post the link right there. Now, I am not 100% sure if that's their first device that they made, but I do believe this is the first RTA that they made, and I love doing RTA reviews. Vapefly Core RTA. Let's flip it. Vapefly Core RTA. Keep in mind that this box I cannot use as a reference just because it is a sample. Everything that's located on it is just basically a placeholder. A little card that's going to tell you about German 103, which is something that this company has worked with in regards to making this device. So on the card on the back side, it's going to show you every single member that's inside of this group. What happens when there's 105 or 110? Do we change all the cards that are already in the boxes sealed up? Good to go. Seems like a lot of work. Then obviously on the other side, it's going to be all in German, which doesn't help me whatsoever because I can't read one word out of that. What I do have is the piece of paper that Vapefly sent me. So I will show you that information right now so you can give it a good reading. That's a hell of a name. Dampwolf? Da Dampwolf? RTA? A bubble glass, super pumped up about that one. In the bottom of the box and the peripheral pouch are gonna have a bag that has a bunch of different O-rings in it. However, the O-rings that they're utilizing in this is just like all the other companies nowadays. Silicone. And then you got a couple rubber ones. Uh, just go with one and just run with it. An adapter in case if you don't like the drip tip that comes with this, which is an 810, a triple tree, some extra little screws, and the clamps that go hand in hand with the screws. So self-explanatory with the bubble glass is really nothing to go over. Kind of reminds me of the Cleto bubble glass. Ooh, girl, what is this? Ooh, I could do this. Ha! Right off the jump by looking at it, you see the lovely silicone O-rings. I'm telling you, in due time, fill this tank up a bunch of times, we'll say over 20, this silicone is going to turn into like a really awkward, yellowy situation. Sort of like how your apartment walls looked when you smoked cigarettes. That's exactly what's gonna happen to those rings. Drip tip on the top is your typical 810 size. It's a little bit more low profile. The 502 drip tip in it looks super sexy. I really like the design of this top cap. It is functional in a sense where to fill it up, you're just going to unthread this. To fill this up, you're gonna go through this top port up here, but I am having the hardest time separating these two. They're a little stiff. Airflow on the bottom, locks open, locks closed grommet on the inside of the top cap and then that's how you're going to fill it up that machining looks absolutely trash what is that oh my god i mean i get it it's a cheap rta but holy shit look at those scratches Ugh. The machining on the inside of this RTA looks very, very poorly done. However, the outside of it, which is all that matters to most people, 
it's pretty damn good. Okay, grabbing this top cap to unthread it to fill it up is going to be a little bit difficult when you first get this. So either you use a piece of rubber, which I like to use because it gives me really good gripping, especially if there's really nice knurling on the side and it's grippy, or you could take a vape band that you would put around your tank to protect your tank when it falls, not to crack, and use that to open that up. I just happen to have really, really low profile drip tips. Check this guy out fits really well too. I believe this is made by Noli. Very, very not cheap. I think they should have went with that style instead of their kind of high rise one. Deck is kind of innovative. You've got a lot of stuff going on here. It may be confusing to most people. The machining, again, isn't remarkable, but then again, the price point that this stuff is going to be at, it's not really that big of a deal. Underneath your coil is going to be your airflow. Also, there's airflow that comes in from the center, so you have a dual action situation going on here. Airflow coming in from the bottom of the coils and the side directly through the center post. Dual post clamps, really, really thick screws, and of course, they're gold plated. Gold plating on screws does absolutely nothing. It has no effect on conductivity. It has no effect as far as looks go. I get it that you're making it look a little bit different because you're adding that contrast, but that's not a good thing. They should have just went with stainless steel. Again, we're talking about mere aesthetics, not functionality. I do like the innovation they got going on here. What I don't like is this right here. I swear to God, that would stop me from using this tank. Just those silicone O-rings. Let's see the threading. Very, very nice. Clamps are reverse threaded, meaning as you unscrew it, it's gonna bring the clamp closer to you. This pyramid in the center of the deck either has some type of purpose or they're just doing it to make it look unique. I really, really like that airflow. And again, looking at the machine on the inside of the deck, not much of a problem. Dual core 26 with 36 on the outside. Right, so that is the core RTA. Let's bring it on the top. All right, guys, so we are back on the top of the core RTA with the Lost Fate Mirage. On the barrel itself, they have that black painting of that powered circuit board. I feel that if you were to use this with really, really acidic juices, that it's going to break that down. And I don't think there's a lot of people out there that are realizing that. Again, I may be very wrong, and that may not be the case at all. 0.43 at 54.5 watts. a lot of airflow on this. 
the deck on this is unique. Why is it that we see these small companies with these, no offense, don't, don't take offense it is, Mr. Martin, coming out with devices that are brand new to the market. I mean, I love that. I, listen, I condone that. There should be no problem at all with doing that. But why is no one else doing this? Is it for the fear of possibly coming out with something that no one else is gonna like? Or is it just it's different, so let's not do it? The fact that Vapefly went above and beyond and contacted this person or this person contacted a bunch of companies to see who would work with them and then this was the person that they picked or vice versa. I'm not quite sure as the backstory as to why they went with this guy or this group of people. They did well. They really, really did. It's kind of a shame because it's not going to get the kind of marketing that it deserves. Granted, people doing reviews like myself will help out the company, but this isn't something you're going to see on a lot of websites. And that's usually the case with a lot of companies. People like Element Vape, Vapor DNA, big companies are going to be very reluctant to carry something from a smaller company. That's just the nature of the beast. Unless, of course, it gets that many raving reviews where a lot of people buy it. And I haven't looked to see if other people have done reviews on this, but I did get this as a sample, so I'm sure that there's other reviewers as well that got this as a sample. We know how much I like RTAs, and the fact that I could put a bubble on this and it has that appearance on the top makes this a win. The engraving that they have down here on the airflow control is just a really nice RTA. Like, I, I really like it. I wouldn't say it's the best RTA to come out of China. That would probably be the OBS Nano Engine. If you haven't seen that review, I'll post a link right there. So, how would I rate this device on a 0 to 10? Hmm. If there's anybody out there that has tested that, I almost want to begin that test. Where if something is painted, something like the Zeus, or there was just a RDA that I did a review on that had painting in the center and it wasn't like black or media blasted. There's also been RTAs that have a chimney that's black. What happens if you do put something acidic in that? Stainless steel, we obviously know nothing's gonna happen because it's just straight metal. Will it really chip away? You would have to let it sit for an extended amount of time. Let's just say hypothetically it doesn't chip away. Does it start to break down in the juice? Think about it like this, right? The stuff that you use to clean your counters, that orange glow, that might be for rims. Um, I, that, I think that's actually for dashboards. But that you get that orange, you know, the, the, the cleaning of the c citrus f fruit thing. Okay, I, I don't know what it is, but you spray that shit, right? And you use that to clean everything. Even the stuff that removes glue, I think is orange glow. No, it's not. Goo gone, that's what it's called. But that, it, uh, if you're vaping on that shit, I understand you like the smell of it, but listen, I like the smell of fresh clean socks. I don't go around with a fucking sock in my mouth. <laughs> I know a lot of people think that I vape off of a sock, but I can tell you that, that it's not from a sock. It's more from like a bed, but it's a used bed. So it's got a little bit of flavor from the person that was laying on the bed. They could have just taken that chimney and just do some nice engravings like they did on the airflow control ring, and it would look super sexy on the inside. Then on the same token, I'm quite sure that the engraving is not going to look exactly how this black paint does on the chimney. I like the look of it, I like the shape, I like the top cap, it was a little stiff when I first got it. So rating this on a zero to 10, seven, 7.5. There's some shitty machining on it and that's why we're taking points off. But other than that, it's a really well-made RTA. I just hope that Vapefly markets this right. It's not like this is my name on here. There's 103 other people that are probably gonna want some money since German 103. If I could just pan the camera around to show you all the RTAs that are sitting in front of me, you'll gauge the seriousness of my RTA game. And I love, lo and I'm saying that with all passion and all due respect, love RTAs. I don't mind doing reviews for RTAs and mods, it's just when I get an RTA, that pumps me up because I could put hypothetically any build that I want inside of it and it lasts me all damn day. And I am one of those people that find that RDAs and RTAs give me two very different flavors. For instance, there's certain juices that I can't use in an RTA that I use in an RDA, and then vice versa. 
I use in an RDA and can't use in an RTA. I really like it, good flavor. The wicking isn't terrible on this. They definitely need to open up the wick channels a little bit because it's a little tight, but all you do is just cut one leg so it's longer than the other one, and then as you fold it in, you saw what I did. So let's just say we have two coils. I'm gonna make one have shorter leg than the other, and then on the other side, flip it. So this way you have one that's kind of short, that's gonna get more juice from one side than it will the other. Some people like to split it up evenly. I find doing it where it's split individually and then you lay the second piece right above where the juice is, that's a win for me every single time. People was like, oh, your, shit, your shit's gonna leak everywhere. You, you, that's not good cotton. That's not enough, that's not enough. They're like, oh, well, it's not leaking. Well, don't you feel like a dickhead. Uh, don't tell me it's not enough. I've done enough of builds, period. That's all I got, orange glow. I might be thinking of soul glow. Soul glow, that's from uh, from the uh, Good Morning America. Nope, that's, that's with Robin Williams coming to America with Eddie Murphy. I'm pretty sure that's a tire cleaner. Orange glow. What do we got here? Orange glow is used to clean hardwood floors. Well, I'm sure you could use it to clean other things. I mean, let's be realistic. It's not just for wood. Designed solely for hardwood floors. Uh, I feel like the internet doesn't know what that is. Like, that's just, someone just put that in. That's not correct. Wood polish and conditioner. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of saying right there that that's what that is. I don't even, oh, vaping on it. Don't vape on this shit. But that's, I mean, it does say, why am I even showing it? It doesn't matter, you can look it up. You got fucking fingers. Google. As far as the recommendation is concerned, if you like RTAs, then 100% I recommend this device. If you don't like RTAs, then obviously I'm not gonna recommend it. If you have to compare this with something else as far as airflow is concerned, I don't know, man, there is a lot of airflow in this tank. I mean, Sherman 28 millimeter RDA, tank v V3 wide open, OBS nano engine, times two. The innovation of the airflow alone going into the center post and the bottom. I don't feel that the airflow, as innovative as that is, is giving me any more flavor than if it was just bottom. But all in all, it's a solid RTA for what it is. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay is out.